I can't put into words how much of an honour my job is because it's, it's personal because I've been there and I know how it feels. It's the most important thing we'll ever own is life and I will help you in any way I can. Ambulance service is the patient breathing. 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 Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, he's breathing. Is he awake? No. He's, um, he's got anaphylaxis, I think. His little boy, he's was on the bus. Anaphylaxis, now this category one. Patient's not conscious, they are breathing. The query in anaphylaxis. Please. Two minutes away. Yeah, no worries, we're near enough on Scott for throwing over. It's one year old male, uh, not conscious, but he's breathing. Uh, did you say you've got somebody there waving you down? Not yet, no, no there's we're a church looking. here. Can you send an SP as well, please? Yeah, we'll pop an SP in for you now. A senior paramedic with advanced level training has also been dispatched to assist with the unconscious one year old. Oh, there, there, there. Yeah, have you managed to make patient contact yet? Yeah, we found him. Do you want to grab the bag, Asher? Yeah. Hello, sweet. My name's Jared. What's little man called? Hey, Ruben. Ruben, sweet. Expecting us at the day assessment unit because right. he was having hives and things around his mouth. Yeah. But he started coughing. Sorry, the hives. Come on, Ruben. Let's get you on the ambulance, buddy. Are you going to come up with me? Yeah, I've been, I've been no, you're all right. You. Hello. How are you? Can you see the ambulance? One six nine. Yeah, that's confirmed. We've received patient. That's RC, wonderful, thank you. We're trying to get the bus, and we thought he just touched something that he shouldn't have, and he, he had, well, like, hives You can see, I can see the hives there. But we've given him two doses of cetirizine. You just keep him distracted, and we'll work around you. Hello. This is Ian, he's one that works with us, one of our Hi. colleagues. Hi. Learned your reaction over the last sort of couple of days. We've had a couple of doses oh. of cetirizine. Uh, we're just about to get onto the bus. If, oh, you're on the, on the bus. bus. That's why we got off a uh, uh, Grove because he started like, like flopping, but then he was coughing, and then it got to a point where his head was back, but he was like, it's like doing this, and I, I just, I just sort of panicked. And at that point, I got him out of his pram and was trying to wake him up, but he just wasn't waking up. So he's been hospitalised in the past following these allergies, has he? Not since he was. Six months. And what reaction did he have then? Um, he had an to melt. It's full on airway yeah. Scary. Very much so. Well done, well done. You didn't even cry. And then we got strawberries again. Is that normal for him to drill that much? No, not really. Oh, we've nearly done that blood pressure as well, you little monkey. Scratching away, little man. There we go, perfect. perfect. Are you just trying to scare the hell out of your mum? Listen, we'd rather this. Yeah, 100%. We would rather this now than totally recuperate and be fine when they're with us. So you've done the right thing, 100%. Shall we have a drive up to the hospital, Reuben? Thank you very much, love. Much Thanks appreciated. Thanks, we'll <laughs> Bye, love. Bye. Let me know when you're ready, Jared. Yeah, good to go in your arse, mate. So it probably shows that there has potentially been some sort of a reaction because of the increase in, in the mucus coming from his mouth. And I say he's itching his legs and whatnot, his arms a bit more. So there probably has been some sort of unknown allergen. Reuben will make the one mile journey to the Royal Lancaster Infirmary. What are we looking at now? Yeah, we can rock and roll down to Peds. The family checking in afterwards. Oh, you're amazing! Thank you for that. Jared's a professional at this, so he'll uh, sort everything out. Get him and in. You couldn't do that, Ash. Oh, has he just been sick? Oh no, he's just a bit drooly. Quite a lot. Very kind. Well, that was a bit of drama. Thank God he wasn't overly unwell. The bus driver could have pulled over. Hazard lights on, and we would have got to a minute sooner if he was really, really unwell. Yeah, that a, min made a, a minute is a fucking lot of long time. When I had Beatrice, my second one, she was three weeks old. She was in a cot next to the bed, and I don't know why, but I couldn't sleep. And I looked over, and she was, she was blue in a cot, like, and I mean blue. She wasn't breathing. Got to hospital, and she'd roused round a bit. 
But in front of the doctor, she stopped breathing and they put her on a monitor and they got a resource team straight away. Heart rate had dropped to like 40, which is massive in newborns. Oh, well, like, there should be like 160 Yeah, well, at 40, you start compressions at 40. So they put her on a ventilator um, and I thought she was going to die. And I think afterwards, I got really bad PTSD and I didn't realise it for a long time. I'm still having counselling now, actually. Um, and even though he was fine, I think... You just hear one-year-old not breathing. Yeah. And... Yeah. And I see the panic in his mum's face. Thanks. And I think that's... I get where you are, like... And I'm, she was like, I'm so sorry that he's not unwell. And I was like, we don't want him unwell. <laughs> we want a well baby. We, we want, want a well We baby. want you to say, oh, my God, it's a false alarm. Yeah. I didn't go through what... At me and Steve went through, mm. people say to you, like, what's the worst thing you can go to? It's mm. not, you know, what people probably think in their minds. Yeah. It's little things that struck... That st a personal chord. Yeah, they struck a personal chord with you. So I think, yeah, that's right. why I always fix. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah? Good, thanks. Good, because you've got some paperwork to do. <laughs> <laughs> the job never ends. The job never ends, sis. <laughs>